What's up YouTube, it's your boy Dashing and this is week 5 of the TPL Draft League. I am one of the coaches of Alliance and this week we take on Brian and the Broken Mon. His team consists of Mega Gallade, Porygon 2, Drapion, Mega Camerot, Sandaconda, Pure and Black, Meloetta, Sylvaligrass, Galarmine, and Relicant. I don't know much about Brian, he was a replacement for Quack leaving. He's only played one game so far and he won that with good prep and misplays from his opponent. His team doesn't look scary but the thing to notice is he has 5 max candidates. So I'll only know on team preview which max he will use. Despite having ma uh, 5 max candidates, the mons he chose to have those potential are not really threatening at all. Not, not, none of them really stand out as a threat when it comes to being a max mon. So this should be one of our easier matchups. Let's check out our team builder. So first up we have Kevin's Durant, our trusted max mon. It's very obvious that we would bring Durant since we did bring it versus the Sun teams, and if you bring it versus the Sun teams, you're definitely gonna bring it versus the non-Sun teams. So, our set here, we have wide lens so we can have more accuracy to try to compensate for the hustle miss. For attacks, pretty standard. It's really hard for us to set up a, a setup move with Durant. Especially like Hone Gloss, because you know, almost all of his mons would have some type of coverage that can hit Durant hard, and we kinda need it to get off all its max attacks to have the most um, optimal value out of it. So we have Area Lace for speed, superpower for attack boost, Stomping Tantrum, which hits the Drapion and Mega Camera up. Iron Head for our dedicated stab. I don't remember what the speed EVs are for. I believe this is just the same as what we had last week. This is pretty much the same set. It's been working with our mocks, so I didn't feel the need to change it. We could have definitely optimized this by giving less, but I didn't really feel the need to. It kind of gets the job done. Our next mon, we have Wishy Washy, nicknamed it When You Dirty. It's one of those um, running gags in the chat the Latin boys kept saying When You, which is, which is uh, supposed to mean okay, but I kind of felt like it sounded dirty. So we go When You Dirty. Uh, the EVs are pretty standard, max HP. I thought about going max defense or high defense, but I felt like max attack would be the best because basically what happens is we get a flip turn with that huge attack stat and whatever Mon takes the flip turn, the Mon we bring out will be able to finish it off. Because even Curem Black takes maybe 25% which makes it in range of um, our Arceus no matter how bulky it is. So that's good. We have Scale Shot for that as well. Toxic for the Porygon 2. Protect. Um, yeah, that's basically the set. We have Lefties to try to keep it healthy with the rocks and Protect to, you know, get more Lefties recovery. Our next mon, Seismitoad, the fucking Gringos. Lefties as well. We have Poison Touch this week because we don't really need the other two abilities. Stealth Rock's always good to have. Put mons in range. Um, we have Knock Off which synergizes with the Poison Touch. Remove the item. Basically this match the most concerned mon we have would be Curem and the next would be Porygon 2. We get both their items off and it's really GG. We have sub just in case he leads with Sandaconda and Scald for that as well. Scald is also very good against the K Black as well as the Mega Gallade. I placed enough speed here to outspeed uh, some speed Sandaconda 
we outspeed it naturally but I just thought maybe he tries to be a little sneaky and put some speed to outspeed the seismic toad with no speed so I gave it like 48 EVs just in case to you know kinda guarantee if he wants to outspeed us he has to commit a lot of speed so that's the set our next mon Arceus oh okay so this set is pretty standard. I believe we have enough EVs here for speed for the outspeed the Gallade. Uh, max special attack, we have some defense, a little HP. We have Surf here for the Mega Camera Up. Because Mega Camera Up is his only judgment resist. Everything takes neutral or super effective from the judgment. So we have Surf, Judgment, CM, Recover. The two attacking moves are the only moves we need for this game, like realistically. CM just guarantees we kinda hit something harder. The only thing that can wall this set is pretty much Porygon. But yeah, once Porygon loses its Eevee Light, Arceus just wins. Our next mon, Silvali Poison, Kati Itlog. Cause you know, my, my balls are kinda itchy from time to time. Um, So we got Parting Shot, Surf, Surf already, f as we know, for the Mega Camera. Um, U-Turn, U-Turn, Parting Shot, two pivot moves. One is to bring in a Mon safely. The other one is to get damage, put a Mon in range. Toxic for the Porygon 2. So it's good to have like multiple answers to certain Mons, not just one. We have like a few Mons here with Toxic. So that's really good for us. Max HP, enough speed to... I don't really remember. I think to outspeed an Adamant um, Pure and Black. I'm really not sure. This may just be the same set um, the same set we used last week. But yeah, it. we haven't had any problems with the Mox here. The, most, the worst case scenario we had was like a 1-0 win. And the best case scenario was like a 6-0. So, it really depends how our opponent will play. Our last mon, Spectre. Our Spectre. Um, we put leftovers here. Try to keep it healthy with the rocks. Shadow Ball, Dark Pulse. Shadow Ball, our designated stab. Dark Pulse, just to hit the Porygon too, so it doesn't wall us. Nasty Plot, just in case. I only clicked this move once in like four weeks so who knows if we'll click this um if anything we have endure here just to make sure we live an additional max turn so you know if it's like the last turn of whatever max mon he brings we can endure um save a mon so we don't need to sack more mons our EVs here, max special attack, we could afford to run modest because we can still outspeed the Gallade even if it's timid. And the rest is for defense. So yep, that's basically the team. I'm expecting him to bring Mega Gallade, Porygon 2, Drapion, Sandaconda, Cuban Black, and Mega Camera. So the idea with this team is it's it hits hard. And he has Porygon 2 to set up Trick Room for the Mega Camera Up. And Sandaconda will try to glare things. Drapion will be his max mon. I don't know what he'll do with Cure and Black. If it's going to be Scarf. If it's going to be Life Orb. If it's Dragon Dance. Any one of those could really work. But yeah, let's check out what he brought. Alright, so it looks like he brought Silvali Grass and Mime over the Sandaconda and the Porygon 2. Very interesting. I'm not sure why he did that, but having Silvali Grass, Kyurem Black, and Mime is really bad for our water months because both have freeze dry and one has a stab grass move that can really possibly Oko even the Wishy Washy despite it being so bulky. Um, I'm not really sure what to lead because the point of having Toad here was to counter the Sandaconda. That's really our set. 
it does have some tech as well aside from that but that was definitely the point i'm not sure which mon will he lead though he could have cure him and that could really destroy toad in one hit if he has freeze dry so i'm not really sure what the best um lead is maybe he thinks i'll do that and leads um maybe he thinks i'll lead like arceus and ghost galade but um i'm really thinking that the either the cure and black or the mime will lead because mime can at least set up screens but without further ado let's check out the game so it is camera up interesting as we go to rent definitely i don't want to stay in here we go toad toad can handle anything the the ca mega camera up can do he switches to kirin black as we go for a sub very good for us the sub means that he can't ko us with the freeze dry from here and we are going to be able to get a knockoff so the Kyurem set is one of the is probably the one that has the most potential of beating us because if it dragon dances and you know has good coverage moves um we don't really have the best ways of stopping that but at this position our victory is more or less guaranteed because we are going to be able to get a knockoff on it if he doesn't switch goes for dual wing beat interesting um it took two hits for the sub to break and he's revealed to be banded so that's kind of good for us the item is gone it's probably not dd because it's banded so probably just four attacks goes for outrage here that's a good that's good damage as we go for rocks not wanting to stay in we go f we switch to arceus on the outrage we can take that we take that comfortably since we are still type and we get a free judgment none of his mons wants to take a judgment but he does switch out to his uh, steel resist the camera which will be blown away by our surf all right i'm not sure if anyone noticed that but the way the animation worked there was like a delay with the damage calculation of surf that means that the camera up was solid rock and that is an illegal set so he may have made the mistake um generating that mon or you know building it because the that ability is linked only to the base not the mega farm so it didn't matter this game but it could have mattered so have to be careful with how you build your um your team otherwise if it did survive that surf gets an attack then we would immediately have to disqualify for that illegal set but it didn't matter this game so you know just be careful he sends out galate here not wanting to take a cc we switch out to durant he reads that perfectly goes for the knockoff we lose our wide lens we go for a max hopefully he can't kill us with cc as we go for a max airstream interesting to note there we were faster than the galate so that could be because he is adamant and maybe that's what our speed was for to outspeed potential adamant um galade or maybe he just miss ev'd his mons not enough speed maybe added some bulk there he goes max drapion here on our max ground that will do a shit ton of damage because we do have hustle and its weakness goes for max geyser very interesting um no idea why he did that as we went for the max steel um i believe that was definitely a misclick i i did get in touch with him after the game and he did say that it was a misclick and i was like was it a misclick or did you make a mistake like you know building that team he did said that um building the team was just you know very quick he just rushed it so you know take it as a, um with a grain of salt i guess we go for area lace because it does more or less the same as the iron head he goes for a defog i'm not sure why probably wants to keep the uh curem healthy as we go for the area lace Kyurem comes in we hit the iron head perfect 
mine comes in hopefully it's not eviolite and it's not not sash as well and that's gonna be gg it's dashing wow this will be our first 6-0 like in any league uh, i think before we the most we got was just 5-0s but yeah very proud of that um 6-0 Durant got 5 kills, so that's probably gonna be our MVP for the week. I don't see anyone getting 5 kills um, this week, hopefully. So that would be another award for us. Game was very straightforward. I definitely had the advantage with this game. I really hope Brian does make trades because his team doesn't really look that good. Despite having a lot of max mons, um, it doesn't really fit the format here. So if there was any advice I could give, just... Um, remove some of the max mons and trade them for better mons. Um, that's gonna be it. If you like the content, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.